Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a cool uh, cold effect in a photo, in a portrait in this case and uh, like an icy feeling sort of thing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bridge and I'm using CS6 but you can use it in other versions of Photoshop so that's not a problem whatsoever. So this is a JPEG image, so to open up in Camera Raw, because we want to go to Camera Raw first, we're going right here on the top, we've got this symbol, and open in Camera Raw. So I'll just open it, any second now, and there you go. And what we want to do in here is, we go to Temperature. So I'm just going to Temperature and just make it slightly cooler, or colder and uh, not too much I think around this is fine and I'm going to open image and now I'll have the image in Photoshop there you go so now let's change the eyes so I'm going to duplicate this layer so control J on a PC or command J on a Mac or you can just drag like so into the new layer icon and there's other ways but those are the easy ones and I'm going just to grab my dodge tool right here and uh, the exposure I'm going to do it around 15% should be okay zoom so I can see what I'm doing more accurate and now I'm just going to brighten up the eyes like so as you can see I'm just brightening up the eyes and there we go I want to get rid of this there's some dark marks on the eyes I want to get rid of them as well and now let's see the pupil as well oh look at this cool and now I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye I think it's better don't you and there we go just going like so obviously when you're doing this pay attention that this try to keep both the same and that's what I'm going to try to do as well so I'm going like so I need to get still a bit darker right here I'm going to bump up the exposure a bit more to make it quicker like so now I have overdone it and it's cool let me see before and after yeah I want just to resize my brush a bit and I want just over here as well a bit like so okay perfect now what I want to do is I want to grab my burn tool and with a soft brush which is fine I'm just going to make it smaller I'm using my bracket keys so I can make it smaller and darker right here and now I'm going to the other one like so and yeah it does look cool it does look very cool indeed so now what we want to do now uh, let's desaturate slightly the lips so I'm going to right here get new adjustment layer and I'm going to hue and saturation and I'm just going to grab the saturation slider and desaturate but what I'm doing is I'm just concentrating on her lips let's see something like we still want to be a color but not too much but we can adjust it afterwards that's the beauty of adjustment layers so now I'm just going to click on the layer mask and I'm going to control I or command I on the Mac which will make the white mask into a black mask so it, it's hiding everything that the, I've done with the adjustment layer as you can see nothing is changing and now we're going to select the brush and painting in white in a layer mask obviously 
we need to zoom in a bit more and uh, now I'm just going to paint her lips like so and there we go like so let me just resize it slightly I'm using the bracket keys to resize the brush something like so a bit. and a bit more in here nearly there, nearly there but you get the idea anyway and as you can see it does look a bit fake but we double click and we can adjust let me see if I can make it cooler with a kind of a bluish I think I, it's not very good over here so I'm just going to get rid of this as well like so but you get the idea make sure you use a soft brush I'm using should be using around 50 but when you're using this try to make it soft brush around 50% will be fine okay like so okay now let's go back to the adjustment layer and see what we can do so let saturation like so lighten up like so something like this and it looks pretty cool so as you can see very nice indeed but we go we're going to take a step further so I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going into brushes and I'm going to select some eyelashes that I've got here so I like this one I'm going to be painting in white but as you can see it's not lined up so I'm going to right here to open my brush panel and I want to turn it around a bit like so and make it a bit bigger and uh, this should be okay because now I can go like this and I'm going to warp it a bit so I'm going into edit transform and warp and I want to make it closer to the to her original eyelash something like so something like this yep yeah. now I'm just going to grab the other one which should be this one yes should be this one so let's go and I'm going to do in a new layer so I can adjust the opacity in a second so let's turn it a bit like this make it touch bigger like this yeah and now I'm going to edit transform and warp and once again I'm just going to try to hide the dark ones like so something like this yep and I'm just going to select normal brush now so now we can adjust the opacity and I'm going to adjust the opacity of both brushes something like this um, uh, at 73 percent now I'm going to create a new layer and uh, I'm going to paint in white still in white I'm just going to paint like so like so and uh, I'm going to this one as well 
Oops, a bit too much. So let's go again. Like this. You get the idea, if, even if it's not very straight. You get the idea. Now I'm going just to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And depending, obviously, of the your image, you're going to blur according to the resolution of your image. This is not a very high resolution. And this one here, it's fine as it is. A bit more, not too much. So around. Let's use the scrubby sliders. Uh, something like this around 13 yeah that's fine and gives a much cooler effect as you can see yeah the eyelashes I'm still not very happy with them so I'm just going to bump up the opacity all the way up and now I'm going to bring it down a touch Yeah, 75. Yeah. Now, just below the eyelashes, I'm just going to merge these layers. Merge layers. So in here we have the eyelashes. Eyelashes. So we know what we're doing. In here, eyeliner. So we know where we're standing. So below the eyelashes, I'm just going to create a new layer and I'm going to grab a brush. So let's pick a color we want a bluish color something like so I'm going to resize my brush bear in mind I'm using a 0% hardness on the brush so I'm just going to paint like so and I'm going to do the same to the other one so I'm going to create another layer and do the same to the other one like this okie dokie yeah. okay it's okay it's kind of okay so I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur so let's see uh, round around the 40 something percent 60 percent that will do the trick and now I'm going to be doing on this eyelash exactly the same but let's see if it works with the same blur or with the same amount yeah it does it does so what I'm going to do is I'm going now to merge these two layers so I select both of them control E or command E on the Mac I'm going to lower the opacity to around 45% and as you can see it's much cooler effect kind of a when you look at it, it looks like cold photo it makes you freeze well that's the idea anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now